Good morning, world. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Thibodeau here with another session of prayer 2021 for today, September 15th. Our scripture reading for today comes from 2 Chronicles 7.15. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. Let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We praise you for hearing our prayers this day. We thank you and praise you for honoring our prayer requests this day. And we thank you and praise you that someone somewhere will be saved because of this broadcast this day, coming into a right relationship with you through the sacrifice, death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. To you, Father, we give all honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Now, we've been talking about our rights under prayer and how important it is that we understand our rights. Just like knowing what our rights are under, under the Constitution of the United States, we need to know our rights under heaven as it concerns prayer as well. Genesis chapter 2 talks about the blessing of the Lord and how he gave us a command to have dominion over all creation. But yet, we allow others and we allow circumstances to have dominion over us. It's not supposed to be that way, folks. Most people, when they pray, are trying to make some kind of deal with God. I mean, they'll pray things like, if you bless me, then I'll do this and I'll do that. But that's backwards. Find out what God wants you to do, then do it. Then the blessing comes upon you and overtakes you. That is what the blessing is designed to do and how it's designed to work. For example, your kids are hungry. The bread is at the store. You can say, I know there's bread at the store and I know you are hungry. Someday, if you are really, really good, perhaps the bread will come to us from the store. No, you don't do that. You go to the store, obtain the bread, and feed the kids. You don't start by trying to be good and hope the bread comes to you. You have to put forth the effort to go and get it. Amen? Go to 3 John 2. God wants you, well, spirit, soul, and body. He wants to bless you. And you want to be blessed as well, right? So you need to find out what God says you should do and then do it. Then you will be blessed. You have his word on it. Uh, and God's not a man that he should lie. I mean, you can go read uh, what, Matthew 20, 21, 22, Mark 11, 24, Luke 18, 1. They all say basically the same thing, that our struggle's not with God. God is the answer to the problem, not the problem, not the obstacle. What would be the use of praying anyway if you couldn't obtain what you were praying about, right? You can't get good enough to ever get God to answer your prayers. Our prayer life is based on our covenant with Jesus, period, nothing else. It is because Jesus is because of him that God will answer our prayers. It's because of how good Jesus was and is, not because of how good we have to try to be. It's because we've entered into a covenant, a contract with Jesus and with God the Father. God's entered into this covenant with Jesus, so therefore we have covenant with God. Praise God. The key to all of this, the common denominator in this whole thing is believing. Believing in our covenant. Believing in Jesus. Believing if, in what he did for us. Believing that the price of our sin has been paid in full forever. Believing that God honors his word, his promise to Jesus. That he will bless those who bless Jesus. And how do we do that? Simple. By doing what he told us to do. Believe! Amen? That's all we have to do is believe. Well, but Brother Bob, I just don't know if I can do that. I mean, you don't know what my finances are like. You don't know what the doctor told me was wrong. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You're right. I don't know. But I do know who has the power and the answer that you are looking for. His name is Jesus. Amen? But you can only know what to believe for if you know the person that you're believing has said he can fix your problems. You can only know what they said if you talk to them. You do not receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior until you believed what God said 
about Jesus and what he did on the cross. That's the only way you got born again. That's how you got saved, by believing what the Bible said. Well, if it worked in that example, wouldn't it work in all the other places as well? Yes. And that's the point of today's teaching. Amen. Glory to God. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your word. Your word is Jesus. Jesus is the word. We have the contract, a written contract called the Bible. That if we do this, you do this. And since you did this, we get this. And Father, my prayer this day is that someone somewhere got this. Praise God. Father, we give you all honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Shout amen, somebody, somewhere. Glory to God. Share this episode out far and wide with your social media followers. And do us a favor. Jump over on iTunes. You got two, three minutes. Jump over on iTunes. Look up Prayer 2021. Leave us a comment, rating, and review. That really does help us to get the word out. Be sure to visit our our website, podcastforchrist.com, and take a look around. Download those free resources right there. Till next time, folks, this is Pastor Bob reminding you again from 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, Living Bible, to always keep on praying. Be blessed. We'll talk again tomorrow. <laughs>